Luke Nolan, you've arrived here in Newmarket this morning. What's your first impressions of the mare? Um, she's in great order, great nick. Um, she's she's just like where she left off when I got off her last time in uh, in Australia. So now she's in good order. So um, I'll give her a breeze in the morning, and uh, then the, my week starts to build from now. You seen her here for the first time this morning, um, and as you said, most of her work was done before you came. Yeah, that's right. Like um, she was. Nearly 100% when she got on the plane to come over, um, and Pete had uh, planned it that way. So in case she didn't, she struggled with the flight. Uh, he didn't want to have to train her here. Um, she could have gone straight into the Ascot race without a without a gallop. So uh, she thrives since she's been here. So she'll do a little bit in the morning um, just to blow the cobwebs out, and we'll uh, and Pete Pete's very very happy with where she's at. So that uh, that makes my job a little easier knowing that uh, Pete's very happy with her. You've been here before, so you know the lay of the land with Ascot. It's not going to intimidate you? No, not really. No, not really. Everyone seems to think that I should be worried about it, but uh, you know, we got to kick me to get me going. So, I'll, I'll, yeah, I won't, I've got a great deal of faith in this mare, and uh, she loves a straight course, um, and she'll travel a long way down that straight. So, look, I'll, she's going to make my job easy as it is, so I, I haven't got too many concerns about it. So, just looking forward to uh, getting it over and done with on Saturday. Do you get as excited as the owners do coming into race eve? No, not really. Uh, I'll have a look. I'll have. I'll, I'll. My routine won't change at all, and the whole time I've ridden her. Um, and just, I just, you look forward to sad day, and then you look forward to to it finishing because there's sort of, sort of, but there's always a build up to it. But uh, doesn't just sort of worry me too much. The owners, are, they can. They've been on medication the whole, the whole experience of Black Caviar because she is, um, some of them get very nervous. So uh, I'm glad I don't have to, I'm glad I don't have too much to do with them pre-race because they might rub a bit of that off on me. But uh, but um, they were overwhelmed and probably just just the feeling of winning. It's more of a, of a relief for everyone involved with the mayor. You know, it's not, you don't, you don't seem to get, uh, pumped or carried away with it at all the first your first emotion you experience is relief because she's won again and hopefully that's again that again there's the same feeling we have on Saturday. At the end of the day though you're not going to be too worried about the opposition you know you've got the horse to win the race. On ratings yeah she's the best horse in the race but um look there, it is a horse race and anything can happen but uh no all we can do is dot every I and cross every T and our preparation towards the race and uh she gets there in the nick and th she's in um, we all know what she's capable of. Best of luck for Saturday. Cheers, thank you.